Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another Tip of the Week video. One thing I've been asked many times is how do you remove duplicate photos and videos from the Photos app? Well, the Photos app itself doesn't have any built-in features for removing duplicates, but one third-party app I'd recommend is Power Photos by Fat Cat Software. Now, this is the homepage for Power Photos, and as you'll see, it does more than just finding duplicates. It can help you manage multiple libraries, uh, copy photos between libraries, merge libraries, and much more. But I've previously covered Power Photos, the full version, in a full Screencast Online episode. Uh, that's episode 517. But for this quick tip, I'll demonstrate how easy it is to identify duplicate images in your photo libraries. So I've already installed Power Photos, so I'll just pop down Safari and let's go ahead and bring up Power Photos. Uh, Power Photos itself will actually analyze your machine and find all your libraries. Now I just have a single default library on this particular machine, which is my iCloud photo library, and I've purposefully created some duplicates in there. Now to find duplicates, and this will only work by the way if your uh, iCloud photo library has the full originals of your photos and videos on your Mac. So if you're running an optimized library, it won't work. You have to run this on the Mac that has your full photos library. But to uh, actually run a duplicate, so if we just go across to library, find duplicates. Okay, so I just have a single library. If I had multiple libraries, I could select them in here as well. Um, I'm looking for an exact match uh, to compare current photo and match on file name and date as well. And it's very straightforward. I just begin the duplicate search. It looks for the duplicates. It's found 11 groups of duplicate photos. Uh, these are all the different photos it's found. Now this photo here with this symbol above, we're going to run an action on this. And this photo with the tick is the one that we're actually going to keep. This is our keeper. I can actually get access to a submenu here as well if I want to. So if I want to show the file or select it in photos, I can. I can assign a keyword or add to album at this point, but I'm not going to do any of that. Down at the bottom are our rules. So basically the default rule is to keep the most recently modified duplicate, but I could say uh, keep duplicate with the best metadata. So if you've been uh, adding metadata to your photos, you can keep the duplicate with the best metadata. You can keep the largest duplicate. So you might have been resizing some photos so you want to keep the highest resolution, etc. But I'll just go ahead and say, keep the most recently modified duplicate. And then what do we want to do? Well, for the keepers, for all those photos that I want to keep, I'm not going to do anything. They're going to remain in their original location. But for non-keepers, I'm going to add them to an album. Now I could sign a keyword uh, and then search for that keyword, but let's go ahead and move them to a specific album. So with that selected, I just say apply. I'm going to confirm the action. Fine, we'll say apply actions, opens the library, moves them around, and that's now completed. So we'll say okay to that. Now I can open photos from within here. I just click on here, opens the photos application, and I should find, there we go, there is my new album, Power Photos Non-Keepers. I can just do a quick double check if I want. Uh, if I want to actually get rid of these now, I can do a command A, select them all, command backspace to delete, and then I delete it. Of course, they aren't completely deleted. They are in our recently deleted section. I could leave them in there, and then after 29 days, they would be deleted, or I could select them and delete them all now. But that's a really easy way to identify your duplicates using Power Photos. If you want to learn more about using your Apple devices, there are over 700 full video tutorials available to Screencast Online members covering all aspects of the Mac, iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, and even the Apple TV. Now, all full members receive a new Apple-related video tutorial each and every week, as well as a free subscription to the Screencast Online monthly magazine, packed with videos and articles on getting the most out of your Apple devices. Now, you can get your free 14-day trial membership over at screencastsonline.com, or check out some of the free content over on the SEO Showcase app on the iPad iPhone and Apple TV. That's it for this week. I'll be back next week with another tip, so I'll speak to you then.